All right, this algorithm's a little different. This algorithm already has three that are solved and three that aren't solved. And the way this works is you hold the cube so that the um, side that has the opposite color in the center or shape is on the right and you do it like this. And the, what it's going to do is it's going to put this piece here, put this piece here, and put this piece here. So that would solve it. Rotate the cube twice, like that. And that'll solve it. Now look at your golden cube and make sure you put the three pieces that are already solved like this. So they're like that. Look at the cube and see which pieces need to swap. This, this is a little more difficult on the golden cube for obvious reasons. Okay, so what I figured out is this piece right here needs to go here. This piece right here, the um, piece with the weird side right here, needs to go onto the bottom. So hold the cube like this, so you have the three that are solved, like this, and then you do the algorithm. Rotate it. And sometimes a very interesting thing happens. This is how you get a parity. And I'll show you how to solve a parity like this. Alright, I'll first show you what it looks like on the Skew Ultimate, and then I'll show you on the Golden Cube. But this is a parity. Now, a parity happens when you have only two centers that are unsolved, and they're both in their correct position. Or, or something else could happen because your puzzle was taken apart and put back together the wrong way. But this is what it generally looks like. Now this is a parody where the two pieces messed up are right by each other. There's also an issue where you get the piece here, the piece here that are messed up. But I'll talk about that later. But this is how you solve it. You do the algorithm, I think two sets of three, like this. That was one. And that was two, two sets of three. Now this puts a pe um, only four. Th this puts four pieces in their correct position, and they're all flipped. And you've seen this before in the first algorithm I showed you. And the way you solve this is you do what you just did, but you hold the two solved ones like this. Now let me show you on the golden cube. So it would look like this, and you're going to do the same thing where you hold the two like this, one right under the other, one under the other one like that. You can do it just like that. Two sets of three, which is a total of six repetitions. So it's like this, one, two, Huh. Three, four, five, six. Now get it um, to where there's two pieces that are solved, and you put those on the top and left like that, and you do it um, two more sets of three for a total of six.
and that's how you solve your golden cube. Now sometimes you'll get strange situations where you have one solved on the cube, like you have only one of these, and what you use is a combination of algorithms first to get the um, first two solved and then get the rest. So with all these algorithms I just showed you, you can solve your golden cube. The main thing is just using them when you need to and doing them the correct way. And when you get a parity with the two opposite of each other messed up, I'll show you what it looks like on the Skew Ultimate. Okay, so I was trying to get it, the um, Skew Ultimate into the correct position by using reverse algorithms, but I was getting a lot of trouble and I didn't want to have to take it apart and put it in that position. So I'll, I'm going to show you the simulation of getting the um, centerpiece parity where they're both opposite from each other. Now this is just the same as it is before but I put it right here. Now if you ever get the issue what you're going to do is really simple. You're going to move it up so it's in this position like this parity is and then you're going to solve it with the um, two repetitions of three and then the other set where you rotate it do the other two rep repetitions of three and then once it's solved you're going to move this back to where it was so it's, it's really intuitive and it always works so there's really no issue so with the algorithms that I just showed you you should be able to solve your golden cube now just leave any comments or questions if there's any more algorithm uh, any more algorithms you think I overlooked and I'll definitely make a video of them alright thanks for watching and um, I really hope this helped you solve your golden cube okay thank you